Welcome guys, I'm Ismail from ST Media Network. Today I will show you how you can transform your HP Chromebook into Windows. Uh, the first step is removing the right protection. As you have seen, this is HP Chromebook 14 G5 or Generation 5 HP Chromebook. In order to remove the right protection, you should have to unplug all screws from the back of the Chromebook. Please keep all screws in safe location. Don't forget to subscribe the channel between videos if you are not subscribed to the channel. And uh, safely remove the covers. Now this is the most required area, as you have seen at the left side there is a screw that is the Chromebook screw location, the right protection screw. This is the main screw for the right protection and open it, unplug the screw and keep in safe location because we need it after we change the Chromebook into Windows finally we can reattach the screw into this location now step 2 is enabling the developer mode enabling the developer mode is the crucial thing in order to change your Chromebook from Windows to from Chromebook to Windows uh, it is necessary to turn your Chromebook into developer mode so the step is escape key refresh key and power on as simultaneously then control D plus enter control D plus enter then control D now it is transforming from now it is transition to developer mode if you are not change your chromebook to developer mode you cannot do anything you cannot change your chromebook to windows so uh, turning your chromebook to developer mode is a very crucial thing now enable the debugging feature this feature is very crucial without enabling the debugging feature you cannot turn your chromebook to developer mode just click this one and now click proceed be careful in this step because you should have to create a password for your root operations now control plus d control plus d when it is reboot please use always control plus d now create a root password this is a crucial thing for example, you can create a root password by using admin root. You can say uh, something easy that you can use for your purpose. 
for example i make it admin and click enable this time your chromebook fully transformed into developer mode now click enable now you have successfully enabled debugging feature this means you have successfully transformed your chromebook into developer mode uh, just log in uh, to your chromebook by using your uh, google account or you can browse as a guest you can you can do like that and select the language and continue select the network after that uh, you can enter your google account you can use browse as a guest it can also work no matter it can work now i am entering the wi-fi password that is the main thing now it is connecting now it is already connected okay actually the chromebook is hp 14 generation 5 now we have to do is find the cpu this is n3450 the cpu and go to coolstar.org there is install and also select hp next then find the cpu that you found find the cpu this is the cpu intel Celeron hp chromebook x 360 generation 5 uh, there is also an instruction how you can turn your chromebook into windows there is also a script you can copy this script and paste into the terminal window now enter the password for the terminal window this password is a root password you can use your root password in order to create the pseudo password now go to this window uh, and enter root and enter your root password now you can create your sudo password by using chrome os sets dev pass wd chrome os minus set dev pass wd after you type this command just enter the password for your password now verify your password now you have successfully created the pseudo password then you can continue running the script that requires now enter the password that you have created Now this time downloading the porting file that means it works. Now we are successfully navigate to the main or to the best location that we can work with chromebook changing chrome os into windows we already find the location the start location of the script the main script you can also use this script from mr chromebox now this is the main area that we need it to work with from this uh, we can select the the second option install or update uefi full rom premiere this is the main operation now 
select y and enter and type i accept and press enter type i accept and enter i accept and press y to continue press y to continue now connect your usb flash in order to back up the current from os from here yeah in order to back up the current firmware you have to plug Now it has been connected and place enter and select one in order to select yeah now it is backuping the current firmware into flash disk <coughs> Now firmware backup is completed successfully. Now unplug the flash which contains the backup file of the Chrome OS firmware. Now the process is not completed. Now it is the time to download the firmware utility which can uh, use to change the Chrome OS into Windows. Now it is a step 5 installing Windows 10. In this step we can install Windows 10 as you have seen it is Windows 10 prepared by using the refuse application. Now it is the time to install Windows because the backup process and everything is completed. Now you have to do is press R key from the keyboard, press R and this will reboot the Chromebook. At this time press ESCC escape key. Now press escape key. This time will boot from Chromebooks boot manager that is the new boot manager for Windows system now go to boot menu at this time you should have to go to boot menu and select the proper uh, media to install Windows at this time I already plugged the USB flash disk that is USB SanDisk browser blade. This is the media which contains the Windows operating system to install. The Windows operating system is x64 Windows. Now it is booting from the Windows system from installation media. Congratulations, now uh, we are in the system to install Windows. Uh, I think this process is not new for you and you can do it as ordinary installation of uh, Windows 10. You may have installed before Windows 10, just follow that instruction and uh, just you can install. But the different thing in this installation process is there is a lot of uh, partitions inside so you have to delete all that partitions you can also select the architecture that is 64 bit architecture what you need to do is delete all these partitions into one you should have to delete all these partitions
and after you delete all partition select the main partition and the next this will select your partition to install windows 10 now it is on process installing your windows 10 congratulations if you are on this step you have done almost 90 percent congratulations don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video okay also don't forget to share yeah now we are in the last step the last step is already the installation of windows 10 is completed now it's rebooting there is some setting a few steps now we already did the main job congratulations if you are in this step you done almost 95 percent congratulations The final step, this is the final step, the window is coming, the desktop is coming, amazing. Now we are almost near to 100% of installing windows on Chromebook, almost 98 and 99%. Wow, I have given the username, I have set or skipped the password now there is something to accept or decline now preparing windows wow almost 99 percent with the help of god we already finished installing windows 10 on chromebook 100 percent don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video if you have comment and suggestion you can leave it here and if you have anything to ask, you can ask me. I can create a video for you. Till another video, have a nice time.